Try to get all your scattered thoughts and gather them together right here at the breath. Give your full attention to the breath, this quality that the Buddha calls jitta, intentness. It's something that's really important for the practice. You want to pay full attention to what you're doing so you can see clearly what you're doing and what the results are. And then you can make appropriate changes. If you're spending your time half with the breath and half thinking about how much longer you're going to be here or whatever, you're not going to see anything clearly. So it requires full attention. This means even the slightest tendency for the mind to slip off. You want to learn to see it before it happens. And it does show itself. There are these little discussions that go in the mind. They tend to be under the surface. But if you get really quiet, you begin to realize these things that are normally under the surface can come up to the surface. It's like the difference between having the refrigerator on and having the refrigerator off in your kitchen. When the refrigerator is off, you can hear things that you couldn't hear when it was on. There's a lot of stuff that was subconscious suddenly becomes conscious. And you can sense there's a little bit of the mind that wants to head off. It's like an inchworm at the edge of a leaf. One end of the inchworm is, still on, worm is still on the leaf, but the other one is kind of gazing around, trying to find the next leaf. And when the next leaf comes up, it's off. So you have to look for that tendency of the mind. When you see the mind is beginning to get a little bit loose that way, okay, do what you can to make it even more interested in the breath. Because this is one of the ways that you stay fully in, immersed in the present moment, is to find something interesting about the way you're breathing. How is it going in your head? How is it going in your feet and your hands? What different rhythms of breathing have? What kinds of effects on the body? You can check them out right now. And how about the parts of the body that you tend not to pay much attention to? Some spaces between your fingers, your shoulders, whatever, it tends to get ignored. See if you can work with the breath in those parts, too. And this way you give yourself something to be interested with. As John Lee said, it's like having four big dolls to play with. You've got the earth element, the water element, the wind element, the fire element. In other words, the way you experience the body from within in terms of its warmth and its solidity and its movement and its coolness. You learn you can play with these things through your perceptions and through your interest. So try to get as interested as possible in the breath. Because it's right here when things begin to open up. They're going to open up right here, not down the road. This is one of the problems with that image of a path. You think, well, I'm here, and somewhere down there is where the results are going to be. So you're keeping one eye down there to see when the end of the path is coming. Actually, everything is happening right here. It's just right here it develops. So if you want to see how it's going to develop and see how it is developing, pay attention right here. And then the end of the path, when you reach it, will also appear right here.